I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and these are my TRX top five exercises for strong arms and back. What we love about TRX is there are so many great exercises to do with so many different variations, but I'm gonna give you what I think are my top five that are easy to execute, but tough on your body to give you great results. So, all you need are your straps, and we're gonna start, we're just gonna show you my first exercise, which is a TRX row. So, I want you to think of all these exercises as things that you, very similar to the things that you do with dumbbells or machines. So, if we do a flat back row here, squeezing in the shoulder blades or seated row on the machines, very similar to that. So we're just gonna grab our straps, we're gonna come in our suspended position, so walking those feet forward, arms straight, eyes up, palms facing each other, pull the shoulder blades in, squeezing in the shoulder blades nice and tight, we wanna keep those straps tight, we don't wanna get up here and get slack in it, just about to here, and then slowly lower down. So pulling in, and slowly down. So again, things to remember, we wanna keep those wrists straight, we don't wanna be pulling too much with the wrist or bending, and again, nice and tight with the straps, no slack. Lots of different variations on the row. We can do a wide row, we can do a supinated palms up, we can take it really low, make it harder, tons of variations. That was exercise number one, TRX row. Number two, is a T-Rex bicep curl. So again, thinking like a bicep curl that you would do with dumbbells or a machine, same motion, we're just gonna take it suspended, making it harder, using our body weight, and using lots of core. So, we want to this time keep the hands higher. So elbows about level with the shoulder, palms facing your, your face, and then we wanna extend out and pull those hands towards the ears. So it's very easy on this one for your muscle memory to wanna to go into that row because those are bigger, stronger muscles. So you really gotta consciously be thinking, keep the hands up, pull the hands towards the ears in that elbow flexion, bicep curl motion. Same thing, straps stay nice and tight to make it easier or harder, just like the row, you walk it forward or walk it back. Third exercise from this position, facing the anchor, exercise number three, we're just gonna call them TRX letters. Lots of variations on this. So we're gonna show you just a couple. We're gonna do a Y, a W, and a T. But there's other ones as well. So these are great for back, shoulders, rear deltoids, um, all through the arms, and also core. So just like it sounds, we're making letters with the straps. So extend it again, palms are down. I'm gonna lift up in the Y, Slowly lower it down, lift up in the W, elbows are going out to the side, making a W, and then I'm gonna take it out to the T, which is kind of like a fly motion. So again, that's extending up Y, resist it on the way down to W, kind of flipping it up, and then T. So really important on this one is, again, straps tight, but that we resist it on the way down. So we're not just letting ourselves drop, then using momentum, we're really using the muscle, muscles and engaging them on the way down as well. So, exercise number three, uh, four, I guess we're up to four, we're gonna turn away from our straps this time. So, basic chest press. So imagine if you were on the bench or on a machine, or doing a push-up motion. This, this exercise is called a chest press, probably more similar to your push-up motion. You're gonna have the straps on top of the shoulders and arms, but you wanna keep them high so they don't rub alongside your arms. And we're gonna keep them here. Walk your feet back to wherever you're comfortable. If you're new, start a little higher, um, small angle till you get a feel for it. And then just lower yourself down, just like you're in a push-up position. So elbows go levels with the shoulders. We don't want to hyperextend and get stuck down here. Just about to here, use the abs, use the arms, push up and in. So again, slowly lowering down, arms go out, come up, hands go in. So some important things to remember on this, we want your whole body going forward. Probably the biggest mistake we see is, and this is very natural for your body to want to do this, to bend at the waist and go here to here puts pressure on the back and it's, you're not using um, as much of the muscles as we want to use. So again, here, slowly lower it down. Lots of variations, you can turn it out, have a row from here, row, press. Um, also makes it a little more of a fly. You can put the straps underneath. And if you need a little extra help, again, start small or put a foot forward, that's gonna help you as you get a feel for the motion. So if you're brand new to exercise or to TRX, this is a good variation to help you get used to it. It's a little daunting for your body to feel like you're falling forward. 
So last exercise in my top five, it's a tricep extension. So again, we're facing away from the anchor. This time we're gonna take the hands high. So think that you're doing like you would do with the rope at the gym or an extension with dumbbells on your back. Same idea, elbows in closer and we're bending at the elbows, lowering the forehead towards the straps. So here to here. So you can keep them about shoulder width or bring them in close, whatever feels better. But just lowering, just about to here. Again, don't feel like you have to hyperextend. That gets really tough because it's all your body weight on just these small muscles and we don't want to put that pressure on the elbow. And same idea as the chest press. We don't want to just have the upper body bending at the waist. We want your whole body coming forward and then push back. So this one is tough. You could also put that foot forward or start it high. As you get stronger, we'll walk it lower. So there you go. So those are just five of the many, many TRX exercises you can do to strengthen your arms. And as we know, everything with a TRX, really great for core, really great for getting the heart rate up.